Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, haven't done a video in a little while because it's fucking crazy drama, but I figured I'd do one today. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's see what's happened uh, since I've been back to YouTube. Things have gone fucking crazy and nuts all at the same time. Uh, apparently, Chris Hitchens uh, has cancer. I just found that out. Or not just found that out this, this moment, but a few days ago. Um... Paul Zigo put out, put out a video, which I loved. Uh, I wanted to say some shit on that. Uh, brilliant fucking video. 100% true about America. I have really, most of my life, had this thought that Americans were fucking cowards. Like, not, of course, like he said, not the troops. So people always like, what about the firemen and the army guys? Not those fuckers. The people who who, like, get on buses and they're like, oh shit, black man's riding for me, clutch your purse real tight. I've had that happen to me, like, I'll walk past people and they'll clutch their purse real tight, like, I'm gonna fucking rob them. It's ludicrous. Um, oh, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, yes, the shooting that happened uh, recently, uh, apparently this fucking dude, uh, Lochner, uh, whatever his first name is, but anyway, the, the dude who shot, uh, Giffords, Congressman Giffords, and of course, Fred Phelps wanted his little fucking crony, insane nut job rant, but uh, enough about that. Uh, he's gonna pick at the, the funeral of the nine year old girl, you know. Classy shit. Um, anyway, what has been happening to me recently? Well, it is actually kind of funny <laughs> because it does involve some crazy religious shit that happened. And I'll give you an example. Uh, my last video. I said I had a girlfriend. We were in love. Turns out she didn't love me as much as I loved her. She cheated on me. Fucking whole crazy nine yards. She was just nuts. Anyway. So, I, my friends have been trying to hook me up with other girls. And these other girls... <laughs> I'm kind of trying to see a girl now who's a Christian. Now, I don't give a fuck that she's a Christian. I may have some problems with her religion, but personally, if she wants to believe it, I don't fucking bother her with it, you know? I don't care. I told her that. She, however, on the other hand, has a fucking huge problem that I am an atheist. She's just like, you know, she's like, well, I can't be your girlfriend unless you convert to Christianity. I'm like, that's never going to happen. And I'm just like, what is this bullshit? Like, convert or, you know, be single? Like, you know, I can't see you because you're an atheist. It's just fucking crazy. Um, and another girl that a friend of mine tried to potentially hook me up with, I was texting her. She was in Tennessee. She was supposed to come down here and meet me and we'll hang out and shit. I'm in Alabama. Yeah, for those of you who don't know. But uh, she was supposed to come and meet me. I was texting her. And I said something about gays. Uh... She went off on this crazy tear about how gays are wrong and they're sinners. So, of course, logically, I wrote back, um, if you come down here, please just keep the fuck away from me. Um, because that shit is, that's, you know, what the fuck is, it's 2011. And we're still having the same fucking conversation. Gays are bad, you know, which they're not, but... Anyway, uh, I'm hoping to do some more videos with my cam, uh, until I get some batteries, you know, which should be tomorrow. It's fucking snowy down here, it's the craziest shit, uh, it's never really snowed down here, not like this, I had to take off of work a couple of days because my job closed down because it was blizzarding down here, but that would be a fun video to do where it's all snowy and shit. Oh, and, uh, I am getting not very close but kind of close to my 100th video. I, I believe this would be my 89th video. Um, and as audience participation, because you guys fucking just never participate. I was like, you know, I need feedback and comments, and nobody leaves shit, you know. I mean, a few people leave stuff, but, they're you know, they don't ask questions. So, I've devised a plan to get y'all involved. Kind of. This is going to be the lamest fucking thing ever. For my 100th video, as an homage to either Bill Hicks or George Carlin, I have learned one of each of their uh, jokes. I'm not going to tell you which one, because that will ruin the surprise, but they're epic. I've learned them word for word, fucking verbatim. For my hundredth video, I am going to do 
these jokes to the letter and go as fucking crazy, like yelling and screaming out in the middle of the woods. Uh, you know, if, if you know Bill Hicks, you, you'll probably know some of his jokes that I'm talking about. But, here's the, the fun part. Here's how you participate. You get to vote on which one you get to see. And I'll probably end up doing both of them, but, you know, which one do you want to see first? Bill Hicks or George Carl? And I might do more down the road, you know, if you throw me some suggestions after that. But, uh, and I might do both of these, or I might just do one of them, you know, you never know. But so, uh, vote in the comments section, and, sh and just in the comments section, because I want to see, you know, I want to keep it very open and honest, you know, no anonymous voting here. <coughs> or if you don't want to vote, you know, if you really have to be anonymous and, and pussy out and everything, I'm not calling you pussy, but of course you can always just text me, and then I'll tally it down, and I'm like, you know, oh, well, Hicks one or Carlin one, and then for my hundredth video, I will do an awesome, like, epic, like, recreation of their shit. Just, you know, as an homage to those guys. Because I'm so devoid of original talent. I mean, I guess that's obvious by now. <coughs> but anyway. Uh, let's see. I got some time left, so. What else happened? Um, as I heard, uh... <laughs> Glenn Beck went fucking psycho on some woman, uh, over the phone, over the phone lines. Uh, about uh, health care. Uh, he was on his radio talk show and some woman called up going, you know, why do you say this, this, or this? And uh, apparently he went fucking, like, extremely nuts. Like, worse than... Remember that time when he was crying, going, America is just this is going away, like, crying like a little bitch? Um, apparently I'm told it was worse than that. Um, oh, they're going to take the word nigger out of uh, Huckleberry Finn. Uh and replace it with the word slave. I, I learned that. I watched uh, Cody Weber's video on that just yesterday. I'm just like, what the fuck? You know, how is it that we become so fucking just filtered in this world that we have to just change shit around? Mark Twain is spinning in his grave like a fucking pinwheel right now. I fucking hate America. I, I really do. I just... I, Ah, oh, it makes my fucking brain bleed, but anyway, um, kind of, uh, sort of a segue back to Paul's Ego's video. I should have just touched on this before, but, you know, I ramble, so fuck you. Uh, not really. <coughs> um, I loved watching Paul's Ego's video about how America, he couldn't carry the water for this country anymore, and how he was lied to as a kid, and that kind of gives me a thought about my childhood. I was lied to as a kid. I was told, you know, America's the greatest fucking country in the world, and, you know, blah, 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 you know, we're the best, we're number one, USA, USA, fuck you too, you know. Um, and this was always told to me by people who had never fucking been anywhere else, had no clue what the fuck they were talking about. Um, for all they know, you know, fucking Haiti could have been a better country. It's not, I don't, especially now, but, you know, um, but anyway, I didn't really hold to that because uh, even though later on in my life I got fucking delusional about Christianity, I questioned why the fuck we were, like, saluting a flag. I was never that kid that was like, you know, when people stood up for ball games, I would just stay there, sat down. I didn't really like going to ball games, but I stayed there, sat down. And people would get pissed off, like, why aren't you on your feet? Loving America, you know, America, love it or leave it. And, like, uh, those were my only two options, because fuck both of them. You know. Um, and they're like, you gotta put your hand over your heart, and I'm like, what the fuck is this voodoo ritual where I have to put my hand, like, what the fuck is really gonna happen if I do nothing? You know what's gonna happen if I do nothing? Nothing. Same shit's gonna happen whether I put my hand here or I don't. It's fucking crazy. It's delusional. Which is why I don't really like America, because Americanism, or patriotism, whatever, you know, route you want to take, is fast becoming just as delusional a religion as all the other religions, which is why I don't fucking follow it. Um, but anyway, that's enough of my rant. I mean, I know I can go 15 minutes now, but y'all be really fucking bored by that, I'm sure. So, anyway, peace, and I'll do another one soon. Peace.